everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a round brush flower I'm going to be using three a magic round brushes and of course I've forgotten the sizes 12 8 and I believe 6 I will list all these down below in affiliate links if you'd like to purchase through them and then I'm going to be doing two a magic flat brushes a number 14 and a number 2 liner by Westonia and a uh, Deerfoot stippler by well, actually I don't know what it is number eight and I'll list those down below as well paints I'm using are all folk art paints using happy green yellow ochre pale yellow thicket and sorry, I left left three behind. Using moon yellow, burnt umber, and wicker white. <clears throat> Combination of multi-surface and enamels. All right, so what we're gonna do? Take the deerfoot stippler. Dip the front into the uh, wicker white, the back end of it into the burnt umber, and I'm going to start off by placing my my centers. Now, I'm going to try to keep them small because I'd like to fit at least. I did three buds on my or three flowers on my paper design, but we know how I paint. I typically, paint big. For whatever reason maybe that comes from painting on walls I don't know and I'm hoping that's not glare it shows a little glare for me but I am trying to work on the glare eventually I'm gonna get a better setup for my videos I need to really work on that all right so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the larger of the three round brushes which would be the number 12 I'm going to dip in to single color, although I have a little brown in there, single color into the yellow ochre, and I'm just going to come around and place my brush down, pull it towards the center, and then raise up. Push it down, pull it up. I am leaving a little space in between since I'm layering in this flower. And I will be going over the petals as far as overlapping. So, you know, I could put them closer together. It's up to you though. On this one, I'm just leaving some space in between. And hopefully you're seeing this. Again, you push down, pull up. And if you just do a, maybe a smaller Instead of pushing down completely, it'll be a thinner petal. The brush pressure actually makes the design of the petal. Okay, I'm going to throw another one in here so they'll be a little closer. I don't care how many petals you're putting on your flowers. Just do whatever works for you. The next one I'm going to do is the number 8 round brush. I'm going to go into the moon yellow, just get my brush all nice and full of paint, and I'm going to come in here and just try to go in between the, col the uh, other colored petals as much as I can, just using the same technique. And once again, any time you do something like this, if you feel like your colors are too transparent, give it some dry time, go over them again, and then do the next step. Because obviously with something like this, if you were to try to recoat the bottom layer, that's not going to work out so well. And you can make these petals vary in in size and length. I 
The main thing when you're painting though is just take your time and enjoy it. Relax, relax a little. Next what I'm gonna do, take the number six round brush and I'm coming into the pale yellow. All right, so I'm gonna come in between these petals. Now I can go actually closer together with these petals if I want, but I'm just gonna try to continue doing exactly what I'm doing right now and pull towards the center. If you have any questions or comments, please place those down below my video. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell before you go. My designs are intended to be very simple for beginner painters. If you're a more experienced painter, feel free to use the designs as an inspiration and make it your own. Okay, so with this being said, the next thing I'm going to do, you can leave it like this. I'm gonna come back into my, my yellow ochre with my, the big, the biggest brush, the number 12. And I'm just gonna come back through here and just put in another layer of petals. Just kind of eyeball it and see where you need them. If you wanna do, do it a specific, you know, in between certain petals, you feel free to do that as well. But I'm just gonna do it just like I'm doing right now. Just a light touch and pull, light touch and pull. And yes, I'm pulling up some of the color from underneath into this, that's fine. And there you go. Once again, if you feel like it needs more paint, feel free to go back and add more paint to it. Dry it in between or however you need to do it. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is come in with my liner brush. I'm gonna stick it into the happy green and the thicket. I can also stick it into another color, stick it into the white, you know, what, however you wanna do it. And then I'll come in here, I'm gonna put my little stems in. And then you know you can just kind of make it little, you know, whimsical as far as not a straight stem. I like to put a little curve into them. And that's up to you. And I'm kind of going over them a little bit just so that they have some thickness to them as far as the coats of paint. And then I'm going to put little pulls that I'm going to just kind of come out from. Let me make sure your stem's still on here. You can come up, just be. Cross it over a little bit. I kind of like to do that as well with when I'm overlapping or making, you know, a double, double or a forked branch kind of look here, like these. And come over that. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is still using the liner brush. I'm going to come in here, stick it into my greens, and I want to do some white and I'll just keep rotating as I'm doing this. But I'm just going to do, sorry, there's a little bit of pink on here from my last project. This is my glass bottle that I paint on for videos. So this is very easy. I'm just doing a touch and pull. 
and you can overlap them some. I'm just going to add, add to it as I go. So I'm kind of dipping into the different colors. You can make them overlap each other. Come up this way. Very simple. And I like it. I like when I add, add little bits of color and just keep, you know, it's not all the same color going down. Different, different size petals too as I'm doing it. And I'm going to come up here and do it up in this direction. Same thing. Just touch it touch and pull towards the towards the stem and you can rotate the colors just like I'm doing you have different colors of green if you want to make it a different color all together you know your petals your leaves don't always have to be green and your filler filler uh, leaves or whatever it is you're using as a filler don't always have to be green even though I use that a lot and I do okay either way and then I'm going to come into this one do the same thing and you know that you always can add this stuff before you start putting in your flower petals I tend to do the flowers first in most cases and then come back in and add the greenery I don't know that's just how how I work but if you like to add a little bit of greenery beforehand and then paint over that that's more of a natural look and that would be perfect when I mean, you're the one who's doing it make it yours whatever however you like whatever look you like make it look the way you want it I hate to tell people this is the only way you can do it or you have to do it this way there's so many different ways to do it and the bottom line is if you like it that's what matters right all right next thing I'm going to do oh shoot 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 mess it up I'm going to take my bigger brush number 14 stick it into the greens load it I'm going to add some white to it and whenever you're feeling like a color is not opaque enough for you, add white to it. That helps. You can always put in a little yellow, any of the yellows. If you want to just create your own, just keep adding to it. And I got paint on my fingers. Shoot. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is just come through here, create just my little wiggle leaves. And I want these to be created where there's light on one side and dark on the other. There you go. And you can vary the colors as you go. Uh, let's do this. Go like that. It's a little bit darker. I like them going different directions. And then I come up in here and do the same thing. And it's okay to go over the top of what you've already painted. That gives it more of a natural look because if you're putting together a floral arrangement, you know, they're not gonna be all separated nice and neat. You're going to have things overlapping when you're creating it. All right, so let's put a few more. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of these in this design. Let's put a few more here, and I'm just trying to space them out a little bit. And I don't care if you're doing light on top, dark on top first, it doesn't matter to me. If you're someone that's really into how the light is hitting it, then, you know, pay attention to that. I'm not going to, I'm not worried about that, I'll be honest. Don't concern myself with that too much. All right, do the last one up here. 
Again, I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera here. Sorry if it floats out, floats off at all. I am trying to be cautious with that. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do is come through here with my smaller brush, my number two. I'm going to throw in some more yellow here, maybe even a brighter yellow. Doesn't matter. If you want to stick with two colors, that's fine. If you want to add more colors, that's fine as well. So I'm just going to look at my piece here and say, okay, where do I want to throw in some filler leaves just to kind of tie it all together? And this is the time, too, where you could actually just use one color. As you know, I've done in the past. Kind of your uh, ghost leaves, that kind of thing. And you can pull some out from your actual flower arrangement. That one didn't come off very well. You maybe even come over here, go over the top of the big guy. And you paint it over here. And have just have some leaves just dangling ever so slightly. I'll come up here. And you could even do it over your little piece that you painted right there. Now what I'll do is come back over. Excuse me here. And I am a lefty. If I do anything that seems difficult to you, the direction that I'm leading it, you might want to go back and do yours the opposite direction because that's a big deal at times for people. And if I go from left to right when I'm creating a flower and you're right-handed, on the opposite direction might be a lot easier for you. And you may not even be realizing that that's the challenge that you're having. But I know from being left-handed, we don't create in the same direction as right-handed people a lot of times. There are some things that I do that's more right-handed, but not much. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that at that. The last thing I'm going to finish up with is I always go back over my centers. Once I, if I paint them first, I'll just go back in, loading them back up again. The only concern I have right now is the fact that the paint may still be wet and I might pull into my center, which is fine because I kind of like the, the yellow. But you just, you know, take your time and tap and create the way you want it to look. If you're happy with the way it looks, then leave it alone. Walk away from it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pounce on here, put some more dark in there, more light, pulling up some of the yellow, which is fine. As I mentioned, make sure you have your you know, have a good amount of paint on your brush when you're doing this, since you are going over you know, wet on wet kind of technique here. And you can always let it dry and come back in and finish it up if you want, because it's definitely easier to do when it's dry. You know, when you're doing it on top of a dry surface not a painted surface, or a wet painted surface, I should say. Okay, here, like I'm working this one. Okay, 
I like them just the way they are. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Before you leave, too, if you would take a moment to share my video on your social network, just hit the share button underneath the video, and it'll give you the options of where to share it, and you're good to go. All right, until the next time, thanks again for stopping by, and you have a good one.